okay, boy? Hello, mister. Hey there. Thanks to your help, we should be finished with this soon, God willing. And don't worry, I ain't forgotten your payment. Come back once we're finished, and I'll have it for you. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Good morning, T. Good morning, mister. Hello, sir. Good morning. Nice Damn. day, huh? Can't remember what I smell like. Can't beat warm sun. Well, Damn. enjoy it. Bye. Morning. Morning. you with your horse I'm afraid we just don't have any space right now hey there mister you okay you don't look so good you worry about your horses a well-groomed horse is a real sign of class <laughs> all right none of my business I knew you'd like it nothing better than a well-groomed horse You won't regret it. Good saddle will go a real long way. Trust me. <laughs> You must be a connoisseur. Hey, friend. Whoa, easy.
You're all right, boy. See Hey mister Hey mister Beautiful day There we go. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe? Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made. And apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. 
So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but... Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faith... He knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for it. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. No, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool. Idiot. 
Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Well, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. This place sure makes sore eyes feel like Hello there? Hey there.
Something make us better kill a folk, faster at running away. Hey, big man. Uh, worried. Really worried. What it is, and right now, this is it. Me too, Anku. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. Never gonna atone for my sins. Ain't never nothing but gonna get shot. I guess folks is gonna make a choice. I hope to God. Whether they live what I've done on this earth is how much I'm proud of. And you? A whole lot. I hope he's forgotten about. I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Good man. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss. Recognizes me. I had a few run ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help it. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Hello. Easy. 
This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait right here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to he's going to make a disgrace of him monroe seems likable enough for a west pointer why you know what favors is like because he thinks it's right because he thinks monroe is a patsy or a spy he's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen he thinks monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the indians so he removes monroe removes how Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him 
Go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. You won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. I got a shot. I'll kill you. Get this on. way. Can you shoot? I can't do it! They're trying to kill 
What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Hey there! Whoa. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. We take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving them? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some... Nonsense, spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man, like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a uh, crazy man. So be it. You lived your way. You'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. <clears throat> I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me.
Just look at that horse. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, please help me out of here. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. All oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again.
Okay there. Morning, fella. I like you, mister. You have a kind face. Hmm. Easy, whoa. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he's very 